Hello all, welcome to Commerce Academic Zone. In this video, we are going to learn about qualities of an auditor. First one, meaning of the auditor. The person who conduct an audit is known as auditor. Audit conduct pandra person the auditor. After due examination of accounting, records and statement, a report is prepared in the form of opinion by the auditor and presented to the person who appoints the auditor. Financial statement, records, accounting, this is examination. Panni, auditor has a personal opinion and a report. Prepare and the report auditor appoint panna, and the person will present. Pannuvanga. In India, only chartered accountant are professionally qualified for the audit of accounts of companies. In India, a company has an audit of the chartered accountant is professionally qualified. Qualification of an auditor. First one, professional qualities. First one, auditing. The auditor is an expert in the field of auditing. Auditing field is an auditor expert. He knows the rules and regulations after an audit. Auditing rules and regulations auditor. He has a practical experience in the field of auditing. Auditing field is an auditor practical experience. Next one, accounting. The auditor is an expert in the field of accounting. He knows the principles, methods and the techniques of accounting. Auditor is an accounting field is expert in the field accounting principles, methods and techniques are the auditor. Next one, mercantile law. An auditor is an expert in the mercantile law. Mercantile law is an auditor expert in the field of Contract Act 1872, Sales of Goods Act 1930, Negotiable Instrument Act 1881, Partnership Act 1932, Insolvency Act, Transfer of Property Act and the Common Career Act. In the all act, pathina, completed knowledge person na, auditor rikuno. Next one is taxation law. The knowledge of taxation is essential for professional auditor. Or professional auditor ka, taxation law pathina, knowledge on the avasi rikuno. Income Tax Ordinance 2001, Sales Tax Act, Gift Tax Act, Excise and Customs Act, Rate of Tax, Taxation law pathina all details on auditor ka therinjirkano. Next one, electronic data processing. The auditor must be expert in electronic data processing. The computer are used in business for accounting and other function. The auditor must have the training to handle data through computer. Electronic data processing la auditor vandhi expert da irukano. Accounts kum, other functions kum business la computer use pantranga. Computer mooliyama data handle pantradhika auditor kandipa training edutthirukano. Next one, general knowledge. The auditor must have knowledge of general science. He must have be aware of economic and political condition. Auditor ku general science knowledge vandhi kandipa irukano. Economic and political condition pathina awareness auditor ku irukano. He must continuously update his knowledge to conduct audit effectively. Audit a effective conduct pannradhukku auditor continuously our knowledge a update pannano. Next one, personal qualities. First one, tact. Auditor need technical information to comment and criticize policies of management. Management policies a comment pannradhukku, criticize pannradhukku, auditor ku technical information thayva padudhu. When any information is missing, he can collect such information with argument and debate without offending them. If the information is missing, and the information is argument and debate mooliyam collect panna mudiyo without offending them. Second one, integrity. Auditor should be honest, sincere and straightforward while performing his professional duties. Auditor our professional duties le perform pantrapo honest, sincere, straightforward. It is his duty to report true and fair view of business matter. Business matter le true and fair view of report pantrapo auditor our duty. Next one, independence. He must not be influenced by his client or any other person. Client or any other person ala auditor vandhi influenced raha kudadu. He should give his judgment independently. Auditor or order judgment are independent. The basic objective of audit is expression of independent opinion on his financial statement. Audit or basic objective financial statement pathina independent opinion auditor vali padthanom. Last one communication skill. During the conduct of audit, he has to interact with various officers and staff of organizations and third parties. 
Thus, he requires good oral and written communication abilities. Audit conduct pandrapo, various officers, organizations, staff, and the third parties order auditor on the interact pandramari yuruko. So, auditor ka kandipa good oral and written communication ability. Thank you.